<laughs> Hello everybody, ReaperHunter23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Dino Crisis 2. Alright, it's been a considerable amount of time since I've recorded anything for this game, so I'm going to need a moment to get my bearings back. If I recall, I was pretty decent on supplies, so... What's the power battery do? I don't remember. Oh, that must be for her. Alright, that makes sense. Alright, I'm pretty sure I should be fine to continue without buying anything. If I recall, we were just... about to go into the third energy facility. Yeah, this is right where we landed, I remember. Alright, sweet. Every time with that garbage, I never hit the right button to go. Anyway, alright, I do remember at the end of the last episode. I absolutely got the submachine guns, which is one of my favorite weapons for Regina. Pretty sure it's one of my favorite weapons in general, actually. I just get rid of these... I forget what it is, the plesiosaurs? I think these are the plesiosaurs. Oh god. Oh god. I am getting some major lag, though. That's a problem. These things are not good for life. Oh god, it's terrible. I am so sorry. But they do give you a substantial amount of extinction points. Look at that no damage bonus. <laughs> If I can keep like these things off screen, maybe the frame rate won't drop so much. Or if I can kill them like as they come up instead of oh god, never mind. I'm trying to render one dying while trying to render one um, popping back up is probably what's making this so hard. This kind of sucks. Alright. So if I want to grind on these for uh, extinction points, I'll have to do that off screen. I'm just going to shoot as many of them that come through. Because I do that a lot when I play this game, actually. Like, I kill these until no more come up in the room. Because just look at that extinction point total. It is beautiful. Alright, well, that's a large med pack that we have right there, but um, we can't pick it up because our inventory is full. Oh, alright. So, hopefully, I will probably not need it. I hate fighting pterodactyls, too. They're the worst. They're an absolute terror. Because of things like this. They pick me up, and they make me bleed, and it's horrible. And they're only a measly 200 extinctions, too. Alright, yeah, as soon as I stand... Oh god, I, yeah, I'm just gonna run through these. Few more stats, and a small lit pack. Oh god, ouch. I don't know why, but like... Being hit by a pterodactyl is the most devastating thing that can happen to Regina or Dylan. They get knocked over and they sit there and limp forever. Or crawl. If this is the right word, I don't think. Alright. No, I didn't get a no damage bonus this time, which is depressing. Ah. 
Hold on a second. Get out of here. That is what I think of you. Yeah, this rifle here does an obscene amount of damage. If I. Still not exact. I still prefer the submachine guns, but. It's very satisfying to watch these things drop. Soldier's Papers. <clears throat> it looks like this is the end for us. After surviving all this time, only to be killed by humans. Who are they? Those people with the full face helmets and the rider seats. Somehow, I managed to escape. But I seem to have dropped the key for this facility. How foolish of me. I can only think of one place it might be. I must have dropped it in the jungle. Somewhere near the spring. I read in the jungle way too soon. Oh. Yeah. We picked that up earlier when we were playing this game. It was a couple episodes ago by now, I think. And spring is a rather fast current, and considering its small size, I must go down there quickly or else it may drift away somewhere. The disc I was delivered to Colonel Mason. I think that's how you would say that, unless you would say it like Mason. But I think it's Mason. Has been stolen by them helmets. By them helmets. <laughs> okay. I believe the data was some, about some kind of autopsy. Oh, swooping in from off screen like a raptor? Not cool. Must have died in the past few days. His midsection looks like it has been blown away. It appears that he, the winged beast had found him. Beasts. Can I read this sign here? No, I guess not. It's electronically locked to unlock it. You need the third energy facility key card. We have that. Shabam. Now, before we go over there, I'm gonna explore over here for. Ow! Really? From, like, the crate? Not cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure that thing took damage for bullets that I didn't actually shoot at it. Either that or the bullets from this rifle are like a damage over time. Like, God, I need to refill this thing already. Oh well. Alright, so I don't think the pterodactyls will be after all this time. It's probably going to be the plesiosaurs. Yeah. It's a box for putting small repair tools. You need a key to open this box? What? That's weird. Do I actually open that box? I don't remember. It's a large fuel tank. Probably used for the fuel in the boat at the dock. I find it kind of funny how she aims the guns, like, always pointing at something else, no matter if there's another target. So here's something funny I picked up about this game while reading TV tropes. Apparently the neck of the plesiosaur is not supposed to bend the way that they do. Now I'm not an archaeologist, and I don't really study dinosaurs in my free time, so I wouldn't really know. But this is just something that they mentioned as being like one of those things that would one of those creative license things that would make anyone who's actually in the field of general knowledge 
about dinosaurs just kind of shake their head or roar in agitation. You got the key for the box. Oh hey, look at that, we do unlock that box. Alright, so, we're gonna go shopping. I don't really want to buy that yet. Instead, we're gonna re replace our hemostat, we're not gonna repair it, and we're gonna buy another small mod pack. Actually, what I should have done, I should have just not bought that med pack, used the other small med pack, and went back to get the large med pack that we saw laying on the floor. Ground. Whatever. But, unfortunately, I did not think that through. So I'm gonna just buy another small med pack. It appears I... I'm just gonna buy that so that there's two out of two of those. And we're going to uh, refill our submachine guns and our rifle. I'm actually gonna buy a 500 extra bullets for that. And we're going to buy ourselves 200 extra bullets for this. Alright. I do believe that that rifle carries over to Dylan, like the uh, flamethrower does. Anyway. We're going to go get this here disc. Manager's Diary. Mechanics. Tomorrow after okay, June second, ten thirty p.m. Tomorrow afternoon, two mechanics are coming to this facility from Edward City. It is time for the annual maintenance check of the third energy reactor. This will be the ninth time. Okay, hold on. This will be the ninth time. I thought that was still part of the sentence, not the end of one. The instant something happens to the underwater reactor, that is when all lifelines will be cut off to us. Again, all we can do is pray. Is, all we can do is to pray that nothing will happen. As weird as it may sound, sometimes I feel that it will do us all a favor if that reactor should blow up on us. June third, four p.m. The mechanics who went into the underwater third energy reactor still have not returned. They probably became their lunch. This is a problem. One of the mechanics, Bob, has the key to the entrance to Edward City. Is, is that like the sole key to Edward City? Because only having one and leaving it with a dude who is very probable to be eaten by dinosaurs underwater, where not very many people travel, bad call. To go from this facility to the city, it is critical that we get back the key. I guess there is no real choice but to get in the diving suit and go down myself. I just hope I don't become their dinner. <clears throat> Alright. So there's that. I'm gonna go examine these control terminals here. Um, ah. It's a control terminal to check the operating status of the electrical generation of this facility. It appear... It appear as though... They only have one generator to support the whole facility. Alright. That's impressive. Let's see. We need the mechanics ID card. Alright, we need to leave first. Go open that box. Get on that boat. So many extinction points. Every time. Okay. Key item. 
key for the box. Elevator security code. The security code for the elevator to the underwater third energy reactor has been changed. The new code is 542 or 4521. I hope I can look at that again. Alright, now apparently we also need the mechanics I can tell I'm gonna walk back in there and see if there's anything else we can do in that room I just came from. I thought there was another one coming up. I love how the shadow like that their body makes only shows up when their heads come out of water. That's hilarious. <laughs> like, if I could be stealthy enough in the water to like be completely invisible until my head pops out, that would be a skill that I would want. I would have to learn to hold my I would learn to hold my breath for way longer if I could do that, is what I'm saying. Display it on the screen, you want me to know the total amount of energy generated in this facility. They probably were planning to distribute the power using the computer. Interesting. Storage space. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here, Terry. I don't even know where like the, the number three in that combo. I don't know where it came from. Get out of here, pterodactyls. I'm trying to beat this body. There's a toolbox with a repair tools inside, but there isn't a tool that is of any use. That sucks. There's an ID card inside his shirt pocket. You got the mechanic's ID card. Sweet. Could you have at least had the courtesy to spawn um, instead of a combo to be getting? There's a small boiler. Must have been built after the arrival to this world. Alright, back we go. Ow, oh, really? Where did that come from? Do, do not swoop. I kill And you. Swooping is bad. That would have been a great no damage bonus too. Alright. Ah. Anyway, I'm gonna lose all my ammo again just because it's here and that might injure. I am recording again at a time where my PlayStation 3 just randomly decided to turn itself on. Spooky. Anyway. I'll re really equip the submachine gun now. Even though know where I'm going, I don't think it matters. There's no response. Oh. It gets all picky with you for trying to use the elevator before you. Oh. It's the one thing like about Capcom's later stuff, like Devil May Cry, they streamline the whole use the key item thing. Alright, it was 4, 5, 2, 1. They like streamline the use this item thing by just asking you if you should use it when you get to the point where you should use it. Anyway. This lead, it leads to the underwater facility before you operate the elevator. Yes, I will. Passageway to the sub level.
Yeah, so I guess. So then we do the detection units. There's probably a gigantic energy generator somewhere nearby. Cool. Sub-level 